I set up sweet signs because when it came round to my brother's children's birthdays I never knew what to buy them so I made them these glass signs for their doors and they absolutely loved them and uh, we realised that uh, other people loved them too so we started sweet signs. So step one we choose the colours so that they all work together. We lay out all the colours. Step two we start cutting the colours with the glass cutter and marking the curves with the pen. Step three, we take the glass to the ring saw and cut all the curves. Step four, we polish off all the edges. Step five, we use the core drill to drill all the holes in the base plates and the letters that need a hole. Step six, we take the base plate to the grinder and round off the corners. Step seven, we make sure all the glass is nice and clean, free from dirt and moisture. Step eight, we arrange all the letters on the base plate and take it to the kiln. Step nine, we close the lid of the kiln, fire the glass over 24 hours up to 780 degrees C. Step ten, the glass comes out of the kiln once it's cooled, it's cleaned off, signed by hand and then labelled. I have a passion working with glass. The beauty you can get from the colours is, is astounding. Each of Sweet Signs is made individually by hand. You'll never find any two the same because they're positioned by eye and by hand. You know that your Sweet Signs will be a complete original.